continuing on our DuckTales video game series, we're going to be looking at the Transylvania level in this video. And so we'll check this first suit of armor, and there's nothing in there. We knocked his head off, so we'll just destroy that too, and it gives us the most pointless invulnerability coin in the game, because once we get it, we run right into Webby, who tells us that Huey has been kidnapped, and she wants us to save him. But since we have a little bit more of the invulnerability, we went ahead and we got in this little area that seems like it should have something, but for whatever reason, it's just this superfluous area, uh, just mainly for design, I guess, for this level. And although there's more area to the right, we're going to take the rope up, and then we see the Beagle Boy, and we can take him out with a little golf swing, thus saving Huey, and he is so appreciative that he tells us there is an illusion wall on this level. So we're going to go all the way over to the left, and we'll find another invulnerability coin, and you're going to want this coin for this little corridor here, because this little area can be annoying with this first mummy, and if you don't have the invulnerability, you can... He can uh, hit you a few times and it gets obnoxious. Now, if you didn't have the invulnerability, I'll show you how to take out that uh, corridor mummy the same way we'll take this guy out. You wait for him to walk back to his ball, then you make sure he's walking away from you, and then you golf swing his ball into him. So we'll start moving over to the right, and we'll see that there's a dead end, but we know that this is an illusion wall that Huey has told us about, and inside the illusion wall we find an extra hit point. That's going to be the last extra hit point we're able to get for the rest of the game. And now we'll take out this mummy and start heading up this rope. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop that treasure chest on top of uh, the mummy onto the right hand side. And when we do that, we're able to find a free guy. And it turns out there's a second illusion wall. So we take that, and we walk all the way over to the mirror on the right, and jump into that one. And this is going to be the corridor that leads us to Magic of Dispel. Now you don't want to get too far ahead of this ghost, because when he leaves the screen, other ghosts are going to come out, and it's just easier to run away from him than try to jump around with the other ones. Now with Magicka, you want to stay relatively close to her, but while she's flying above you, she can land on you, so... You want to watch out for that. And then once she lands, you just want to pogo jump on her and then get behind her because her lightning bolts only come out in front of her. So you just want to make sure that you got a little bit of room and then just kind of follow her around. Sometimes she does fly low enough to where you can just pogo jump on her in the air. But you don't have to worry if that doesn't happen because you can just run the pattern and wait for her to land and it's... Once you get your timing down, it's a pretty easy win. So that'll get us the big coin there. And we'll get back and bank that into our total money. And then we'll show you what's going on with the rest of the money. If you want to explore it, and instead of going the shorter way and pick up more money, or there's a, another free guy out there. So first we'll just head to the right. And you can just go back on the first step and duck down to avoid that ghost. Uh, second one's a little bit lower. Now these tombstones, we can golf club them, and even though that one didn't have anything in it, a lot of them do, so we're able to get down below that ghost so he doesn't hit us, and we'll check this one. We get a nice big diamond, and when the ghost comes down, we can pogo jump up, and we find a red diamond. Now not... They don't always have something good in them, so when we hit that one, we released another ghost. So we kind of got caught in a crossfire of ghosts. And we couldn't get the timing right to finish off that uh, skeleton, so we'll just hit this tombstone from this side. And we'll pick up a nice big diamond. We'll get on top to make sure there's not a third illusion wall up top there. And then we'll just check this one. Nothing good there, so we just jump down the hole. We'll check this suit of armor, and lo and behold, it's a big birthday cake, so now we have all of our hit points, and we're in a good, healthy position. We'll jump across and grab uh, this treasure. Unfortunately, it's just an ice cream cone. And then we'll just pogo our way over these spike strips, and that leads us to a little treasure area. And we get uh, two big diamonds and two red diamonds. 
And then the magic mirror will take us back to the beginning. So if we go back to where we dropped the treasure chest on the zombie, mummy guy, we can uh, take that magic mirror, and that leads us to an ore cart. And we kind of got to duck and then jump out of it. And then there's going to be another ore cart we got to jump out of to another ore cart. And then we'll finally get to a rope. Now for me, I have a little bit of trouble with those ore carts, so coming this way just really isn't worth the risk. But we'll come down and we'll get a nice big red diamond. We'll check this suit of armor. And there's nothing in there. Nothing up top. And this is the real big payoff here if you go through the jump part and you get a free guy. Unfortunately, we know this, there was another rope uh, to the left, but because we went off screen, those stones replaced themselves and we'll just have to go through the ore cart again if we want to go back and get there. But that puts us in this little area of uh, suits of armor and so we'll just see what we got here. We already picked up a birthday cake, so that was nice. We got a second cake, which we really don't need, so there is in a third cake here. So there is a way to come back to this little area, um, and it may come in handy, so if you end up going there because you need a birthday cake, just take the one, don't take them all, because uh, if you take them all the first time around and you need it the second time, they'll all be gone. But we'll go back over and we'll jump back into the mirror again to do the ore cart part again. successfully make the jumps we'll drop back in and we're gonna check these blocks just to be sure there's nothing here before we drop down we got a couple of treasure boxes and when we go to get the first one we find a hidden diamond up top we hit the rock and we see that it's hiding something and it's another big diamond and then so we get two red diamonds and two big diamonds and then we'll climb down and it's a really long climb and that'll put us all the way back at the beginning. So there is one other thing we need to check, and that's if you don't take the mirror on the right to go to Magicka, and you take the one on the left, this is where you end up back in the uh, little suit of armor area. So if you're not too healthy when you're about to go to fight Magicka, you can go in the mirror on the left, pick up a birthday cake, get yourself all full of health, and then go take her out. So that's Transylvania, so hopefully you enjoyed that, and we'll see you for the next video.